Hi friends, so welcome to yet another session on success factors and we are trying to demystify the query mode delta behavior for the different segment types which exist in the success factors application. So now we are going to discuss about a new segment type which is non-effective dated entry segment type. So herein we will be discussing about the segment type which are of non-effective dated nature. So going through the slide points. So now uh, let's take the delta transformation for the non-effective dated entries. There are various non-effective dated entries entities in the compound employee API. These entities does also have a semantic keys. Such entities are listed and listed below along with their semantic keys. So these are all the non-effective dated objects. So which are direct op deposit, national ID card, pay compensation, non-recurring email and phone. And these have the respective keys, the semantic keys, which have also been listed against them. So for direct deposit, the deposit type, routing number, account number, account type, process type, quite a lot of semantic keys that this particular object is having. National card, it is country and the card type. And for the pay compensation, non-recurring, it is pay component code, pay date, and the sequence number. Here we see the pay date. So it is not what is corresponding to as in the start date for the effective dated objects, but pay date is the, basically the date of issue when that particular pay compensation non-recurring is to be issued. So it is not to be treated as an effective dated object. It is a non-effective dated object with the semantic key or one of the part of the semantic key as pay date. And this is going to be in one of the examples that we are going to take for this particular object. So we will be able to understand this particular segment pay composition on recurring quite closely. Then we have email. So email have this semantic key as email type and accordingly phone we have and phone has the and the semantic key as the phone type. Now, since these are non-effective dated entities, hence the concepts that we discussed prior related to time slice do not hold good over here because they do not have any time slices now like this. They do not have a span in which they are active or effective. They are either there or not there. So that is not related to the time slice, these non-effective dated entities. So uh, coming further here, coming to the next slide. So now uh, we are going to take an example for the non-effective dated objects. So we will take two of the segments, pay compensation non-recurring. This is one of the segment which we'll be taking. And the other one is the email that we'll be taking. The respective semantic keys, the, the semantic keys for the pay compensation non-recurring are the pay component code, the pay date and the sequence number. So these three constitute the part of the key. Wherein for email, it is the email type that is constituting the semantic key. So now uh, we have made the aforesaid modifications. Let's take a, have a look at the current state of the address information segment of Bonsair. So now uh, again, so what we are going to do is like, we will first of all create the test data. So we'll make use of the same um, demonstration user or the PPT user is Bonsair, but the live demonstration user is Bonsair 2. So we'll make some changes in the bones there too for the email segment and the pay compensation on recurring segment. And that will be the test data and onto which we will perform certain modifications. And then we will see the behavior of the Delta transmission in that particular case. So coming here into the success factors application over here. So, so herein we'll uh, try to, so this is the bones there to the uh, live demo user. So 103272 is the, user id here the username for this particular user and then we will go and make change for the email information segment first so email is basically considered over here or it is kept over here in, under the contact information so we have so we are creating the test data so in the test data we will be having both the email type as business and also we will add a new uh, business or email type as personal so this is what would be constituting our test data and let's say it's a b a at the rate b dot com so that is where the information is being placed and let's say it is no so we have two email type segments business and personal for this particular test data so this is a part of the initial state so we'll save this information and now we will basically make change for the one-time payment so for one-time payment we need to go back go, go down here over into the compensation segment and wherein we have the compensation information and there it is the pay compensation non 
recurring part right so we will basically add the one time payments over here and basically we will add the one time payment as of uh, so it has been issued on january let's say january 1 2020 and the kind kind of the one time payment it is let's say it is a bonus that has been awarded so bonus and then the value of for that particular bonus that has been awarded is let's say 100000 and uh, the currency code of this particular bonus is let's say us dollars so this is how the information for one of the one time payments is placed now we are going to add another one time payment and that is basically let's say for charity so we will basically have the issue date again on january 1 2020 and the one it is for is the charity contribution so herein the charity contribution basically made by this particular person is twenty thousand. there's a one-time payment which is being aborted and uh, so this is where the value of us dollars the currency code and now we will add another one-time payment and that is also again issued on january 1 2020 and let's say it is um, something related to the parking ticket so let's say we have the parking ticket usa so that is what has been also given here and let's say it is two thousand dollars and we have us dollars right so this is the information so all the three payments one-time payments have been issued on the same date january 1 2020 one is bonus other is charity and the third is the parking ticket us and we'll save it over here so this is what is constituting the test data we are going to understand the behavior of pay component non-recurring and the email type of segments both of which are non-effective dated and they have the semantic keys also along with it so for the pay component uh, non-recurring the semantic keys are as we have seen it is pay component code so all this information like bonus parking ticket usa charity bonus so these are all the pay component code the pay date is first of january 2020 that is when it is issued and then the sequence number basically so that is something which is internally maintained here for this particular component so now what we are going to do uh, so first of all so these are current states so now let's gather the information from the compound employee api as to understand what is the current state so we'll go back into the notepad plus plus and herein we have for the current state query that is a query wherein we are finding out the person email information employment information and pay composition on recurring this is how the select uh, segments have been have been selected because if we go back to our excel sheet that we have for the structure of the uh, compound employee so here in we see that okay uh, we want the pay compensation non recurring so here it is right so here we have to have the pay compensation non recurring and which is selectable as why so it needs to be included in the select clause and since it is included so it has if it has to be outputted its parent also needs to be outputted therefore employment information also needs to be included but for the email information uh, the email information is self-sufficient uh, like its parent is the root node person itself so we need not to put any other parent apart from the person the root node which is obviously the mandatory part so we have person and then the email information and then the parent of the pay compensation non recurring that is the employment information and then the pay compensation non recurring itself and pay compensation non recurring is uh, is, is selectable in select clause is why so that means it has to be put in mandatorily otherwise if we do not put in then it would not be showing put in the select clause then it would not be showing in the output which is which is unlike the person information global because it was selectable as no and uh, if we just include personal information personal information global was also by default selected out and we need not to include personal information global in the select clause so in short we have the four segments which have been outputted over here in the select clause in order to gather the pay composition on recurring and the email information so let's execute this first query to get the current state before the changes so we'll go into the soap ui and we'll basically execute and place the query over here so herein we have uh, the query being placed and let me comment out any of the parameters because we are running the current state object or the current state query in the 
full transmission mode so there are no urine parameters and we will also execute the login call in order to get the session id in order to authenticate as well as authorize the compound employee call that we are going to make and we'll put in the j session id value here and uh, we have it placed over here and then let us execute this query so we have this query out being outputted and uh, let let's see this value that has been outputted in details so we have current state before making the changes so we have two type of email information one is for email type as b b stands for business and another information email information is for is of type p p stands for personal so we have two email informations and in the pay compensation non recurring we have basically uh, we have three segments over here pay compensation non recurring right the each of them corresponding to one of the pay component codes like we have three keys right pay date we have the pay date we have the sequence number and the pay component code so 3110 is for bonus and the other one copy component code is for charity charity is for charity contribution and then the other the one the code that we have prk ticket underscore us is the for the parking ticket usa and the keys of the pay composition non recurring is basically constituting of three columns pay component code pay date and the sequence number so this is what is the current state before we are we have made any changes now once we make the changes so let's uh, okay so before we do that as well so what we need to do is basically take out the date uh, wherein the modification has happened so i believe uh, the parking ticket usa was the last entry that we made in the test data creation it is 644 so let's see for this particular date what is the maximum date value so we have a uh, 644 here we have 648 okay that is the execution time stamp so basically that could be left out so we have 644 40 right so we have 644 40 44 40 42 33 42 33 so 644 40 is the latest one so let's take that particular value as the maximum date time where of the current state before making any changes so that all the values all the segments are populated that we want to seek in the delta transmission so here we have and this is the date that we the uh, format uh, of the particular date time that is compatible with the 200 square date time literal here and this is needed for the delta in the snapshot states so now what we are going to do we will make the changes and then we will again take up the current state after the changes so let's make up the changes now so we'll go back into the success factors you are uh, ui and what we are going to do is like we will basically make changes to the first of all let's make changes to the email segment what we are going to do over here is like we are going to delete all together the personal information the email type as personal so this record is basically being deleted all together so here we are performing a delete and personal information is gone right so only the one email type as business remains so that is one of the case okay so we have removed the personal email type and now what we are going to do in the pay compensation non recurring pay component non recurring we will be doing is we'll be doing two things one will be making a change in the value so basically the bonus the bonus segment for the employee so that particular value is changed from 100000 to 200000 now so what does it do like since the value or the amount is not a part of a key so some change that we have done now is not a part of a key so a non key change has been done and in the other one uh, let's take an example of parking to a ticket usa so it was not issued on january 1 it was rather than modified to be issued on january 2 so there is a change in the pay date or the issue date which is a part of the key for the pay component non recurring so one we have made a change on to a key component uh, on on to a on to the key so we have modified the value of a key and the other change that we have done is we have modified the value of a non key attribute so both the cases we have done for the 
pay component non recurring which is a non effective dated with semantic key segment type so now let's save it so having made these changes one change we have done for the email and the two changes we have done for the pay component non recurring so now what we are going to do let's execute the current state again and see out whether the values have been showing up correctly as we have been anticipating from the ui the changes that we have made so here in let's basically place the value over here now for now what we see basically so email information there is only one email information of type business person was was deleted and then we see for the pay compensation non recurring we see the pay date and for the amount which is 1110 we see the value as is 200000 which was earlier 100 100000 right that is what we saw over here which was earlier for 1110 which was earlier 100000 now it is 200000 and the parking ticket usa value has changed the pay date has changed to 2nd of january which was earlier 1st of january so if you see for the parking ticket usa over here so it is 1st of january earlier and now it is 2nd of january right so this these are the two changes which has happened on the pay compensation non recurring or the pay component non recurring object on the ui so now what we are going to do is like let's uh, go back into the notepad plus plus queries over here so let's take up the snapshot state so this is where we have the date time being placed over here and let's seek out the snapshot state of the particular object at the snapshot state what was the snapshot state of that particular object and the query mode is snap shot let's format this value and let's execute this particular one okay so we have for the snapshot state yes we should be seeing the okay for the parking ticket usa the pay date was 11 yes it was and the amount for this particular for the bonus was 100000 yes it is so this is the snapshot state and uh, what we are going to do is now let's calculate the delta so first of all before going into the delta let's proceed further here in the slide so what we have done over here is the so now what we have done is basically so now after making the modifications as listed below email address information record of email type as personal is deleted so that is the change we have done pay compensation non recurring pay date of component code parking ticket usa is changed so one of the key attribute is changed over here and amount of the co pay component code bonus is also changed so one of the non key non key attribute is also changed over here so it will be interesting to see how the pay component non recurring shows up in the delta output but for the email information this is what has been done initially it was business and personal both but now it is only the business the personal one is deleted right so that is what it is showing over here but for the pay compensation recurring we had initially for the bonus amount the amount was 100000 for charity contribution it was 20000 for parking ticket usa it was 2000 and the, all of the dates were 1st of january 2020 but what change we did is basically for the bonus amount the amount was raised by 100000 more so it was 200000 now after the change and for the parking ticket usa the amount was issued on 2nd of january instead of 1st of january so the date change happened over here right so that is where so now let's seek out uh, the current state over here after making the changes so the current state is this like okay the employee email information for the type person type is deleted only the information for business prevails there is no change however for the email type is business but for the pay component non recurring the for the bonus amount uh, the amount has been changed for bonus and for the parking ticket to us the date itself has changed which is a part of a key and the key of the pay component uh, code is basically the the pay component code the pay date and the sequence number so this is the key basically so now please note for the non effective dated entities changing attributes that are part of the semantic key always lead to extraction of two records so now if since we have made a change to the key element so it will again similar to what we have understood for the effective dated with semantic keys object there would be one record with the action delete and delete of the old semantic key and the one record with the action insert and the new semantic key if for example the pay dot of a non recurring pay compensation is changed so now here in since we have changed the pay date 
So the delta contains a record with action code delete with an old pay date and the record with an action code insert with the new pay date. So that is how it should be showing up because there is a change in the key object. So the old key is deleted. That is the record which is identified by the old key would be deleted and the record which is identified by the new key after the change and key which is a pay date. So it would be an insert that would be happening. So now let's try to execute the delta mode over here. So we will made up the we will put up the query mode as delta and the operator would be last modified on and greater than that is what we are going to do all the dates remains the same as that which we have for the snash snapshot and let's format it and execute it so this is where we are going to calculate the or get the delta out and uh, let's place this information the delta output over here and now we are going to work it out. So let's go back to the slide point over here. Go one step further. So for the email information, what we see now. So let's say for the email information, the delta is basically one of the email for the type email type as business. It has got no change because nothing has been changed on the business email type. But for the email type as personal, it got an action as delete because that is where we had deleted that particular record itself. So if we see that, okay, that the email information shows no change for the business and for the information uh, for the personal information, personal type email, personal email type, we get an action as delete. And going further, here is what is the interesting part for the pay compensation non-recurring. So for the pay compensation non-recurring, we get an action as a change and changes for the bonus amount and that is a non-key value because for the change that happened on the amount which is a non-key attribute therefore it shows up as action as change for bonus wherein the current value is 200,000 earlier value was 100,000 and therefore for the pay compensation non recurring we also see for the charity contribution there is no change because we did not make any change for this particular for this particular uh, pay component type right pay component code rather yeah pay component code and now uh, we have the other one that we see as a with an action delete so delete is one for the parking ticket usa pay component code wherein the pay date was 1st of january 2020 and the insert happens for the new record which is thus having the pay date as 2nd january 2020 because we have changed the key component therefore it is showing it two values one the deletion of the old key and the deletion of the old old record which correspond to the old key and the insertion of a new record which corresponds to the which is identified by the new key having the pay date as 2nd of January 2020 and uh, this is how it shows up in the this is how it shows up for the uh, demo user as well so here we see the action as delete for the parking ticket USA having the pay date of 1st of January 2020 20 over here yeah first of january 2020 over here for parking ticket and it's action as delete and uh, we see an insert action wherein the component code is parking ticket usa again but for the pay date of 2nd of january 2020 and if we move further so we see pay composition non-recurring as a change for the bonus amount because that amount was increased to 200,000 earlier value was 100,000 and the pay composition or recurring do not show any change for the pay component code as charity contribution that remained the same in respect of its key that is a pay date the sequence number and the pay component code all the three remain the same along with the values in that particular subsegment type so uh, this is uh, generally the behavior how it shows for the segment type uh, as effective non-effective dated with semantic keys and in this one scenario we have tried to accommodate two three different scenarios so that it is very much uh, available and like it is very much understandable or on to how the behavior would be when the delta transmission happen over this particular segment type so in order to conclude here so we discuss over the various objects those exist in the success factors and they can be classified as non-effective dated objects some of those objects that we discussed email information and the pay compensation non recurring and similar to what we saw in the effective data with semantic keys object behavior with c compound employee in delta mode here two changing attributes that are part of the semantic key always lead to the extraction of two records one record with the action delete 
and the old semantic key and the one record with the action insert and the new semantic key so for example the pay date of a non recurring pay compensation is changed that is example that we saw in the previous slide and the, the delta contains a record with the action code delete which is the old pay date and a record with action code insert and the new pay date so this is how the uh, delta transmission happened for the object which is or for the segment types non effective dated with semantic keys so friends uh, in the upcoming sessions we are discuss we are going to discuss some more aspects of the transmission modes of compound employee so please stay tuned and wish you a very happy learning thank you